133, who's this? It's the number one ranked 125 pounder in the land, stepping up to meet number one at 133. What a treat, Jim. Yeah, I tell you what, you see the sly look on uh, Matt Storniolo's look but right there. He says, we're, we're coming out with the other guy, all right? <laughs> Great move, good so showmanship. Last year, everyone was talking about Seth Gross from South Dakota State stepping up to meet number one, Bryce Meredith from Wyoming. You gotta love it in the wrestling nation. You gotta love this. Two number ones getting after it on Big Ten Wrestling. Well, last year, Seth Grove moved up, you know, to 141, you know, from 133, and, and, and worked out worked pretty well for him. He went back the rest of the season, won every match, became a national champion. There you see that size there, a little bit of length here. Rivera, nice little pass by right there on that drag. And this is when you move up a weight where you really start to feel it, but I, I just tip my cap here to... Sebastian Rivera getting after it here. Yeah, no doubt. There's your flow national rankings at 133. Number one, Stevan Micic. We don't have Sebastian Rivera ranked number one up in the corner because he's number one at 125 in the flow national rankings. Two number ones. What a treat. Micic out with the two-point takedown in the first period. You're still in. You're out. No change. Right down. A little slide of hands by Coach Matt Storniolo there. And uh, Sebastian Rivera obviously wanting the challenge. No question about it, you know, and, and this... Stevan Micic is going to give you that challenge, but, you know, of, of all the people that you could probably pull this on, you know, he's a cool customer. He, he kind of seems the same temperament all the way through his matches, but looking forward to see this type of action right here on the feet. Micic out of Cedar Lake, Indiana, Hanover Central. A little connection there with... Uh, Associate head coach from Northwestern, Andrew Howe. Nice job with that head whip. Boy, moving right, all right, and hit the head whip right back into the single right there. Dropped his chest, a quick finish. And so far, he's been able to out quick Rivera. Wow, two look at that. Takedowns in the first two minutes Both for Stevan Micic. Look at that leverage there with that right hand on there, using that head lever. Rivera, redshirt sophomore out of Jackson, New Jersey. There's Andrew Howe, one of the best ever at Wisconsin, at Oklahoma, and now at Northwestern as associate head coach from the same town, the same high school as Stevan Micic. You could uh, make a case that if uh, there was no Jordan Burroughs, um, Andrew Howe would uh, have been heard from in the Olympics and the Worlds for us, couldn't you, Jim? Yeah, you certainly make a case for it. He's certainly in the mix with that. David Taylor, and he would have been probably battling for that spot. Of course, Kyle Dake as well. Michich. Watch that knee. Watch that knee. Red shirt, Junior. Keep an eye on the knee. Got a bronze at the European Championships for Serbia. That's his home country. He still has family living there, and he will be working to towards 15, guys. the world and the Olympics representing Serbia at 57 kilos. So he's going to cut a little more weight, but he's pretty excited about representing the, his home country from his family. A pioneer there, the first ever medalist in freestyle for Serbia. Get an opportunity to take a both takedowns on the, the little drag right there to the right hand side. Comes look at how much chest pressure he puts on the back of that arm there to keep Rivera in a good position. And there's the head whip back to the single leg to the other side. You know, Stevan Michis what allows him to separate here against a lot of guys can attack both sides of the body here. He's looked like the quicker guy out there. Michigan set, cover Northwestern. Easy. Let's go. They're just joining us. Northwestern won the match at heavyweight. Jennings over Paris, and then Matten pinned the stand-in. Um, Vinci for Northwestern. They're out front 6-3-3 because Northwestern had it up their sleeve that they're number one ranked 25-pounder. Right here, Sebastian 2, Rivera was stepping up for the challenge of Stevan Michich, and obviously it's a big challenge. You gotta, gotta love the guts of Rivera. Just the, just the challenge, and challenging himself at you know, and the, but this guy, Michi's just 
again, you, you don't want to tie up with him too much. He's a master of the tie to getting to his, you know, almost like a short offense from the feet. He gets it right there, stepping through. Now he has an underhook, working that underhook hard. Didn't like Keep the working. position and came back out of it. Mitrich looking so good. He's had a slow start, had a knee injury when he was wrestling in Poland in a tournament. Strained a knee, won that tournament. But uh, he stepped out and couldn't train for a while, but he's getting his timing back, and we've seen him look absolutely right outstanding lately. And what you see from Rivera here is that he, he's constant motion. You know, what he's been able to do, particularly in the matches he had with Lee, was create a lot of lateral motion. And this time he's drifting to the left, right? Michis gets up to the leg, and a little size difference right now, able to bring himself up a little bit. Good job, Rivera, trying to cut the corner, roll through that may work on a lot of other guys, but not against a guy like Michich. Just holds his position pretty well in there, able to get secure the takedown. Good work. There, drops back on. He's going to get the count. See how quickly he's able to go ahead. Now I got a warning green seven. Yep, he's going to take that warning at the end of the period. The warning for not coming up above the hips if you stay down there in five counts. That's why you got hit. Got it? Six seconds, gentlemen. Six seconds. Joe Tauber, the official, talking to Michik, explaining his call. All right, cover, Michigan. Easy. Yeah, Michi's making the decision that the stall warning was today's State Farm State of Success is Stevan Michi. All those tech falls and majors, bonus points, seven consecutive bonus points wins. Today's State Farm State of Success, Stevan Michi, who is out front seven to one right now. Yeah, willing to trade a stall warning in the top position for an escape, you know, just not, not really moving up on, on a guy late in the period there, but that's just the type of strategy he's willing to employ. You know, he doesn't want to ride One too much right now. He wants three, to work four, on the feet. And this is both good. This is good for both guys. Sebastian Rivera, the first recruit for Matt Storniolo. Um, and uh, what a great story. Redshirt, All-American last year. Redshirt sophomore. Doesn't care about being undefeated. He wants the challenge. Yeah, you see where Michi's going in from the defense and stuffing the head, getting all the way over to the other side of the body, gets to his own single leg technique one more time. Now the leg comes in, and I really think that this is where an underrated part of his game where he's been so tough and been able to get those bonus points. His ability to be really tough in the top position. Boy, well, Michi just shows that he can both attack from both sides. He's uh, yeah. also improved on his feet, too. Yeah, and that was that was, that was was a great shot. He gets, probably gets Keep that working. on most 25-pounders, but this is the so far been the best 33-pounder in the land. You know, a lot of people think that that, what is it, eight pounds? Does it mean a lot? Okay, and you're seeing it right now. These are two number ones going at it. But you can see the size difference. Forty seconds left in this third and last period. Number one, one thirty-three pounder in the land versus the number one, one twenty-five pounder, Michich, having his way right here. Nice job looking for a major decision right now. Going to have to get the takedown to do it. Twenty seconds left. Michich on the hunt for a major decision. And I think you know. Sebastian Rivera, he's on the hunt for his own little shot again. Right. He, you know, he's look for him to maybe try to get to that back leg this time. Oh, he's drifting right. Michis attacks that lead leg. Not enough time. Well, no change. He does not get the takedown. With the uh, with the riding time, the score 10 to 4. They'll check the time right there. I know. We got the great side. Sorry. Devin Michi's pleading his case for that last takedown, but uh, hey, great job, great wrestlers, great competition, Jim. Good job, Rivera, stepping up and challenging himself. 